Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help. Guys, this is the JavaFX tutorial for you. So here in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add table rows inside the table view. Guys, I have prepared a simple example, which is FXML based example. And I will describe step by step how you can add rows inside the table view on button click. So here's the demonstration uh, that sample project is running and you can see this is the transparent stage and also we have transparent table after describing all this stuff i will explain uh, about this transparency how you can achieve it so this is simple and here uh, the major thing uh, when you press a button and uh, dynamic records will be added inside this table view so we're going to learn the same thing in this example Okay, guys, let me close this thing. <clears throat> okay, guys, let me close this and we will see everything step by step. And uh, okay, so here I have uh, created a simple example, which is the FXML based example. So you will get as usual, these three files dot FXML file, and this is controller file and one file, which has a start method. And this is a starting point of our application. Also, I have created one CSS file to apply some uh, uh, awesome look and feel on the stage. So I will describe it uh, at the end. So first, let me open the FXML and I will show you what we have on FXML side. So this is the scene builder and uh, this is loading our FXML. So you guys can see we have a FXML and uh, here we have a base pan, which is anchor pan. And once you create the FXML, once you create the project, so you will have a base as an anchor pan. And uh, this is this is the button that I have created. Okay. And one table view is added with five column. The first column is employee ID, second is name, third email ID, fourth department, and fifth one is salary. And you can uh, see this. This is table column. Okay, guys. And uh, I have assigned the FX ID because uh, we're going to use this thing in the control file. So FX ID is required for this. You can see this is the button and the FX ID is assigned, which is button. And uh, now I have selected the table view. So here I have given the FX ID. This is table view. That's simple. I hope all these things are clear to you. Okay, guys, now going back to the <coughs> NetBeans ID and we will look into the code. Okay, guys, now uh, we're directly going to the controller file. So I will start uh, from the controller so here's the controller file and uh, from the beginning you see uh, at the red fxml so we are getting the uh, reference object here uh, which is uh, uh, described in the fxml so this is the fx id of table view and this is the fx id of uh, table column okay let me show you where is the table column so these are the column and we have defined the FX ID first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column. Okay, guys. Okay. So first we have defined all the FX ID. Now what we need, we need a list. Okay. So we have to create the observable list. So this is the way you can create the observable list. Okay. With the help of FX collections class and you have to call this method and you will get the data so here's our of reference object is uh, data so we will collect all the employee object all the employee object inside the data list and then we will set this thing into the table view okay <clears throat> now going further so this is the method this is the action handler for the button click so guys uh, in this example we will click the button and we will add few rows inside the table view so you can write your logic at this place. You can write your logic like uh, you can fetch uh, records from the database. Okay, you can read the XML and you can read the JSON and prepare uh, data model objects and put inside the observable list. And then at last, you can set that observable list inside the table view. So this is the simple thing. I hope this is clear to you guys. In this example, I am creating the simple objects inside this method and then setting inside uh, the observable list. After that, we are uh, put 
uh, observable list inside the table view so that it will be displayed on the stage okay now moving to the next and uh, the what is the important thing we have to do okay because we going to populate our table view okay here we have column okay and uh, we have cell so <clears throat> how to set the values inside the cell so we have to connect our column with the property value factory so we have to uh, call this method employee id dot set cell value factory and uh, we have to pass the instance of uh, property value factory in this way for each column we have to do this coding like uh, first column is employee id let me show you where is our column this is employee id name email id department and sal salary because because we are going to populate the values inside this column cell so we have to connect our column with the property value factory okay let me uh, tell you one thing where is this property so <clears throat> this is the pojo object this is you can say this is bean or you can say this is model class so here we have defined the properties this is employee id which is integer type but the class is simple integer property and this is the string property and uh, department also is a string property and this is the salary which is integer you can take a float as well but here for the simplicity i am taking a uh, employee id and salary as an integer okay and one constructor is required because on default we have to populate one value you guys have a choice uh, you can uh, set the default values uh, nothing you can leave this thing as it is this thing as it is because i am uh, using the constructor uh, and uh, i am uh, creating the employee objects let me show you so this is the way where we are creating our data so we are creating employee object so we need the constructs constructor that's why i have written this constructor and setting uh, the coming values uh, the values coming from the parameters and setting inside the properties okay so this is simple getter and setter method is written for all properties okay now coming back to fxml controller.java file so in the same way we have called the set cell value factory method on each column okay and assign the property value so this is the property name so whatever the property name i have used so i am passing in the double quotes you guys okay these are all used as it is whatever i have used here so the same thing is passed inside the this property value factory constructor inside the double quotes okay guys <clears throat> okay in our example uh, we are creating one object and adding on initialization of table view so that we are getting one item inside the table view and this is a simple thing table view has a method set items and then you have to pass the observable list object here and that data list will be displayed on the table view okay guys i hope uh, all these thing is clear to you the flow is very simple we have created the fxml here we have created the fxml and we have some columns we have assigned the assigned the fx id to all these columns so that we can use all these stuff here in the controller and then we have created the observable list and we are creating the objects one by one and setting inside the observable list after that with the help of set items method we are passing this uh, observable list inside the table view so that it is going to be displayed on the table view okay in the initialize method we have a, a setting the set value factory method uh, <clears throat> to set the values of uh, each column so on each column we have to call this method set cell value factory this is the way you can do it and uh, this is the default uh, single one data that we are uh, uh, setting on the initialization uh, this is simple thing i hope all these thing is clear to you guys okay now coming back coming back uh, 
uh, on this new file. Now coming on this file, which is has a start method. I have written a FX file to give the greater look and feel. And uh, I made this uh, stage as a transparent. So what we have done for it, uh, let me show you. So this is the start method. So once you create uh, your Java FX application in the NetBeans, you will get uh, this file and uh, our default method. And uh, these uh, three lines will not be there. You have to add. So what we have to do, stage dot init style, you have to call the init style method and you have to do this stage style dot transparent. Okay, after that, scene dot set fill you have to fill the transparent color on the scene. We have to call stage dot init style as a transparent. That's why it is making undecorated and able to make it transparent. Otherwise, our stage will not be transparent. After that, you'll see it. So this is the code. Scene dot get style sheets dot add and you have to give the path of the CSS style. So here we have our CSS Okay, let me show you. So by, to make uh, our stage is transparent, uh, what we need, we have to uh, set this uh, style like uh, FX background color, RGBA. And uh, you guys familiar with uh, this red, green, blue, the combination, which is uh, the combination of purple color and the transparency level is 0 0.3. So if uh, the transparency level uh, lies in the same view, I have applied transparency on table view with the help of the CSS. And uh, to making to make the uh, cell transparent, also we uh, change the font color and uh, font style. So I have used uh, this uh, row cell, row cell CSS because of uh, overriding of uh, multiple CSS, it, sometimes it will not work. So guys, you can use, uh, you can apply the CSS on table column and then you will get uh, the white font color uh, for the values which is uh, being displayed on the uh, table view cell. So you will see white uh, font color. Okay, so this was uh, the uh, whole thing that I have used in this example. So I hope this is clear to you and I'm going to run this example by doing a clean build again. So you will get the complete idea what we have done so far. Okay, let me launch this application. Okay guys, this is the stage which is transparent and this is the stage which is transparent and light purple. On this stage, we have one table view and this is uh, semi-transparent and uh, you can increase the transparency level of this table view. It depends on you. You can go inside the CSS and uh, reduce the uh, transparency level value. So yeah, here's the place. You can increase the transparency level values so that the transparency will be increased or the font type which uh, we have used we can uh, set here some more css to change the font type change the font color okay and uh, here i'm going to click the button and you can see these three more rows are added inside this table view again this is this logic is simple and this table view is looking very awesome so uh, for your convenience, I have uh, attached, attached, I have given the download link of this sample project in the description. So you guys can uh, download from that place and import your in your NetBeans ID and uh, you can explore more and you can do more experiment on this example. I hope you guys uh, found this video useful. And uh, again, uh, there's a request you guys, please uh, like this video and uh, share with your friends so that uh, they also can take the benefit of this example and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching cool it help